Hello there. Hi. So today we are going to be looking at working with multiplay. So if you own a PC, um, this is the sound cube playback software that uh, you will be using for your sound project. Um, full disclosure, multiplay is free, which is great, but it sucks. So it tends to crash uh, quite a lot. Um, so just bear with it. Uh, since you don't have a Mac, you can't use Keylab, this is the free alternative to it. So before I leap into how to program with Qlab, a couple of things that you should know, where do you find your sound effects? Well, um, music, royalty-free music can be found all over the internet. Uh, bensound.com is a great one just to find some kind of um, music for you to use. Um, but for sound effects, another great uh, website is soundbible.com. So this is where you can uh, just do a search for any sort of um, you know, one-off sound effects or ambient background noises. And when you're downloading them, it gives you a choice of either an uncompressed WAV file or a compressed MP3 file. And for the purposes of your project, I highly recommend going with the MP3 uh, file because it'll be a lot easier for you to work with. So you'd search up all your sound effects and then you would create a folder just to make sure that you've got them all in one location. And it's, you, you would hope that it was kind of uh, intuitive. Uh, if I were to drag and drop, unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. So you do have to uh, create the, the cue that you want. So the way that multiplay works is you have a, a bunch of different cues that you can work with up at the top here. The ones that you're really only ever going to be using are the audio cue, which is this one here, and the insert control cue. Those are really the two that you're going to be uh, working with for the purpose of this project, keeping it nice and simple for you. So to start off, if we wanted to have some background music playing, um, I want to like say our, our pre-show music. Um, I want to pick a song first uh, and put it in there. Now you can see the description is whatever the file was called when you downloaded it. If you right click and go to cue properties, that's where you can find a lot of um, uh, information regarding the queue, including where it's located. Uh, so in this case, I can change the description to be my pre-show uh, music. If I had the actual track, I could do that. Um, if this was a real show, I would probably have several tracks playing and maybe loop them um, or just several tracks and then they would all fade out at a given moment when the show is about to start. So for the purpose of this project, I'm just going to have one track and now I want to fade it out. So that is a control cue. So I'm going to insert a control cue uh, and right click on it, cue properties. And this is where I can change some of the um, uh, variables, the parameters. So because it's located directly underneath my previous cue, it knows, or it's pretty intuitive to know that, all right, you're controlling that particular cue. So, and it guesses by default that you want to do a volume change. So you want to have an end volume of minus 60 dB, so like you know, almost minus infinity. And here's where I can change the fade time. So I can have, say, a five second fade out and hit accept. So now if I were to hit go, if I come back to the pre-show music and hit go, putting along, and let's say the show is about to start. So I can hit go again. And there we go. It fades out and stops my show, um, my music. So there we go. That's great. Now I want to have uh, a fade in of my scene one um, background music. So again, that's another audio cue. In this case, I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to insert this one a little scene at the beach here. I can um, change the name of it again. Uh, because that looks kind of annoying to have all that uh, text there. Uh, so I'm just going to call this speech. I'm going to background. If I wanted to change the fade in of it, I could either put it in a control queue, but in multiplay, you have the ability to actually change the fade in time uh, here on my um, uh, parameter settings. Now, the background music that I have here is actually kind of short. It's only 21 seconds. But let's say that my scene, you know, I want to have this background music playing for maybe a couple of minutes. 
Well, I could change the number of loops, the number of times that that will repeat itself until I want it to fade out. The other thing that I want to do is kind of test the volume. So if I wanted it quieter or louder, in this case, I'm going to keep it around here just so that you guys can hear it. Um, oops, there we go. There's my background. Uh, so let's see, that will be fading up and playing in the background. Now I want to have uh, another audio cue, this flock of seagulls maybe, uh, over top of it. So let's change the um, title of that to just maybe seagulls. Uh, I don't really, well, maybe I'll put like a two second fade in on that. Let's see, whoops, uh, I was going to do a preview of that, cue properties. There's some loud birds. So I'm just going to bring the, the birds down and maybe I want the, the birds to come out of more one side of my speaker than the other. Okay, I'm going to hit accept on that. Um, so now I've got a fade up of my beach. I've got the seagulls that will play over top of the beach. And let's put another cue in there of this kid's laughing. Um, change that to just kids laughing. Kids, uh, let's see how loud my children are. Whoops, why did that disappear? Q properties. Yeah, they're way too loud. So I'm gonna change the volume of them. Maybe they're laughing at the seagulls. Change that over there and hit accept. Now this is kind of a longer track. So maybe, uh, maybe I only want like maybe even 10 seconds of the kids laughing. Well, I could change the, the start and end position if I wanted to. Uh, and have it end at a certain time. But in this case, let's just keep it the way that it is, keep it nice and simple. Um, so now I'm almost ready to go. Uh, if I were to, uh, the only thing that I wanna have, um, I have this end of show, which is like an automatic default, the show's over, everything stops. But we don't want things to stop abruptly. Maybe we wanna fade out the beach and seagulls at a certain time. So I'm gonna pop in another control cue um, and in this case, cue properties, instead of the previous cue, which is my um, kids in, over here, I want to do a volume change on my beach background. And I want to fade it out in say a time of maybe a nice slow fade of maybe five seconds. Hit accept on that. And maybe I want to do a, a fade out of my seagulls as well so that they're um, fading out properties fade out of the seagulls at the same time as five seconds all right and you can actually do some funky things of linking these two cues together so that uh, you just need to hit the space bar once uh, and then it'll automatically go um, and I think I think it's uh, one of these ones I'd have to mess around with <laughs> sorry I should have done that ahead of time but in this case I'm just gonna hit the space bar a second time so here's my little show. So let's see, we've got the background music. All right, the audience is coming in. They're nice and settled. Probably a little loud. I want to go back and change the volume of that. But now they fade out. Audience gets settled. Maybe we're in a blackout. Lights come up, scene comes up of my beach. And then whenever the stage manager calls it, the birds will come flying in. Then maybe the kids react to those. And then I can fade out all that. So a couple of things that you'll notice here, the kids are still laughing. So if I just hit show end, it will, normally it would end the, the whole scene here. Um, but I could tell a couple of things that the kids were way too loud. So I'm going to, bring down the volume of my kids. They were way too loud. This is what I mean by balancing the levels, right? You're changing the volume so that it, it sounds good compared to everything else. And then I wanna pop in another control cue to make sure that I'm um, fading out those kids because uh, maybe we'll fade them out in the same time of say five seconds, except. All right, so bonus points, uh, well, I mean, not bonus points, but I mean, you can uh, um, link some, some uh, whoop, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, 
All right, so here we go. So let's play my song now. Waiting out. Waiting in my beach. Got my seagulls. Got my kids laughing. Of course, now my kids are too quiet, so I might need to go back and make them a little bit louder. Fading out, fading out, fading out, all of that stuff, kind of skipping ahead in the show. So it's all about going back, listening to it again. You'll probably discover, okay, music's going to be too loud. The kids aren't loud enough. So you're going to go back and kind of always adjust the uh, volume so that it sounds good in your ears um, so that when you're playing it back, it makes sense. So always keep in mind that you're going to need a control cue to fade out um, one of your previous scenes because things don't always go according to plan. So yes, I could say with my background music, cue properties, do a fade out time at a certain point of the, um, the song, but theater never works that way. Things are different every single night. So that's why you need control cues to be able to on one night, it might be a little bit quicker. On another night, it might be a little bit slower. So that's why you need these control cues to control your sound effects and your um, uh, your, your music. So there you go. So there we go. There's uh, how to um, create multiplay. Uh, oh, one important thing. If you save the production, what that will do is um, save it for uh, the, the purposes of just being able to edit it again in multiplay. But if you're actually wanting to share the production, you need to export the cue list. So you go to export cue list, uh, and then that will create a file that is then a little bit shareable. Um, the other thing that you want to do is uh, you can um, uh, export it to notes. I'm just trying to think um, production properties. You can also change the title of it uh, so that you can put your name and everything in here as well um, so that uh, it, it looks a little bit neater. Um, but the, the one problem with it is when you are sharing the production, you need to, uh, when you try to send it, it sends it as just the file with the list here, but it doesn't actually have the audio files with it as well. So you need to actually archive the production. And what archiving the production will do will take not only this file here, but all the audio files as well. Um, so I'm going to just, uh, it's called archiving it. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, archive it to say my desktop um, and hit uh, archive. And you can actually, since it, it might be easier to share as a zip drive, you're going to archive it um, as a zip folder. There we go. Um, I can also copy to the folder just to make sure that I have a background. So what that does is kind of compress everything all together um, so that if I were to minimize this, I now have a, um, uh, where is it? Here it is, a zip folder that contains, if I were to open it up, not only my um, document that I can open in multiplay, but also all my sound files all lumped together. So it's this folder here that you're going to upload to Brightspace so that I'll be able to open it and listen to all the music. You can't just send your multiplay file and all the music separately. You have to archive the production. So file, archive, production, and then create a zip folder and then send that to me. Um, Keep in mind that Brightspace has a limit to how much uh, you can upload. I think it's one gig. So that's why I'm recommending that you use MP3s instead of uncompressed WAV files. So that will keep everything um, nice and tight and uh, easy to share. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed this little video on how to use multiplay. Hopefully it doesn't crash on you. So um, I highly recommend to save as you go. So if uh, it does crash on you, then um, uh, you'll have something already backed up. Best of luck. Take care. Bye.